Good afternoon, ladies and gents. This is Moneybags McP here with Sam Mullen for the Goose Hummock Shops down here in Orleans, Cape Cod. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Boom, boom, boom. We hit you with that fire content. August, September. We all know what time of month. I mean, it's Albie time. I know we can't sleep. That's all I can think about is this funny fish on the brain. So we got our top five and change here. Some honorable mentions as far as terminal tackle. Um, that we're going to run through on our favorites for Albies. Yeah, Let's sounds do good. It. Let's do it. Awesome. Let's start off with some metals here. Got the Zakara. This thing's sweet. It's pink. That's go-to color for right now. Mm. I've noticed it's my favorite. There's nothing better than pink. Every bait fish has a pink hue to it. Sand eel, peanut bunker, juvie herring, you name it, everything. And they last up, you know, good price. Uh, it's 20 grams, you know, it's just like your basic, you know, size, you 20 grams of five eighths, same kind of thing. Um, they're awesome, I like them a lot. And then, the epoxies. Can't beat the epoxies, especially Mighty Fish. Mighty Fish boom, boom, only. Boom. Mighty Fish that only. Gas. They're awesome. Uh, the five eight size, you know, it's uh, the epoxy, they hold up really nicely compared to the regular metals. Um, you know, especially when you get the Spanish Max and Benito, and then uh, the, unfortunately the Cocktail Blues, you know, they can slice you off and they ruin your epoxies and that kind of stuff, but the epoxies do hold up better than the metals. So, um, yeah, and trouble. Uh, crippled Herring, totally slept on. This is by far probably one of my favorites, and it is the most OG out of all the that is OGs. Real. Um, perfect imitation for small peanut bunker and small juvenile herring. Um, you know, it just gives that flash, which that's the most important thing with Albies is the flash. And, uh, you know, just upgrade your hooks, but, you know, it's it's an awesome, awesome Albie lure. Um, Bill Hurley, the squid, it's, uh, using the rips, sweet when they're squid around. They give an awesome, awesome invitation, the action on them, and it's even funny. They say, includes... Three times weighted hook, rattling, moving fish eyes. It drives them crazy. That's what they do. Because we, like we all go crazy over funny fish. <laughs> That's all we do. And lastly, the Yozuri Crystal Minnow in deep diving and in the shallow. These are awesome to troll, wicked fast with light tackle. And the Benito just hammer them. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And you know, Especially on like the Billings Gate and everything like that. And then the Hooter and stuff like that. It's... They're a blast. It's yeah, I'd say 70% of my Benito are yeah. on the Crystal Minnows for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right, starting off with a classic Deadly Dick. This is that like rainbow colors, three quarter ounce, cast really far, really slim, small, and like the crippled herring, this thing's been around since the dawn of time. It catches every species, almost as ver ver uh, versatile as the bucktail. Almost, almost, almost. Cape Cod Classics, the Bronzies. The little four inch variety, these things are absolutely killer. Silver and the pink, again with the pink. Uh, I think we will both vouch for that. Pink or electric chicken is just the uh, absolute go to for me. Um, something maybe a little off the beaten path, most people don't get into these guys. The little tiny dart spins because you literally cannot reel fast enough and you can't go small enough. So we got the little tiny jobs and then we got the four and a half just to. Um, you know, if the bait's a little bit bigger, they get less finicky. Uh, the other day, like, I literally wish I had this little guy because they were on, I mean, snot bait. When I say snot bait, I mean like half an inch. It's not right. And yeah. yeah, literally, you can't go small enough with the epoxies. Yeah. I had the 5 8 ounce, and my buddy had the 3 8 and he was literally double the hookups for me. You know what I mean? It was unbelievable. Yeah. So, little guys, I'm definitely going to be pulling that out next uh, Thursday and Friday. Hopkins spoon, Matt's favorite. Single hook, um, less damage to the fish. We all know these things bleed like crazy. You gotta get them back in the water really quick, help survival rate of them. Mm -hmm. um, throw them like a football. It, yeah, throw them like a football. You really wanna uh, rush fresh water over the gills to kind of re-energize them. Um, so just get them um, on the boat as quick as you can, unhooked, and then back in the water. Make a great pick, but make it quick, you know? Get them back there, because you're not going to be eating them, so you might as well release them safely. I said almost as good as the bucktail, because we're pulling out the little bucktail. I have actually caught numerous Albies on the three-quarter ounce bucktail, schoolie fishing when it's this time of year. So don't sleep on the bucktail. It catches everything, including funny fish. So highly recommend them. 
the little green or white or the straight white would smack the heck out of them. And just multi species, you know? Yeah. Um, terminal tackle, some basic stuffs. I like to be able to change my epoxies. Um, we all know that Albies are super finicky. So I like to be able to lock down what they're feeding on by changing quickly. Um, I'll usually run these in the first light to kind of figure out what they're keyed in on and then cut off the clip and just do a loop knot from there on just to maximize my hookups. But these are great and I feel like they're so small that this isn't really gonna make a big difference between you hooking up and not, you know? Um, it's more critical to find out what they're feeding on and after you do that, you're, you're golden, you know? Um, speaking of golden, speaking of gold. C-Car gold, gold label, 15 pound, um, I think is basically what um, Sam and I both run for the Albies. I run a pretty long leader compared to most of my bass fishing, so I will make it a full arm's length for me. And with the 15 pound leader, the knots are so small that you don't really have problems with it um, running through your tip tops. The gold label we both like because the diameter is much smaller than the standard blue label stuff. Um, so anytime we can um, make it a little bit more finessey and get a little bit more bite out of these albies when they're finicky, we got a lot of boat pressure on them, small bait. It's not making it easy, so we need to maximize our chances. So yeah, long leaders, light leader. I'll even go down to 12 pound if they get really finicky. Yeah. Just the less terminal, the better. Yeah, less that's, terminal, the better. That's what it's all about. So. Boom. Visible. Sam, money bags, Albie season. Albie season. Come Go in. crazy. It's a, it's a comedy show out there. It's just nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. And in here. Yeah. Have a great day, you guys. Peace. Peace, love. Stay tight.